Hi everybody. I just wanted to make a quick video. Let me adjust my camera just a little bit. There we go. Hi everybody. I just wanted to make a quick video um, on our threaded bolt retainers that we have here. I'm going to show you a real quick and easy way to uh, actually improve how a toggle clamp uh, works. These here are the Staco series toggle clamps. They are the solid arm. When you see this thing here being solid, that's called a solid arm toggle clamp. And this is a vertical uh, series clamp. This is a horizontal handle. Pull this forward just so you can see it. It's a horizontal, but it's solid arm. Okay. Um, this is five different varieties. This here is a is a horizontal 215. This is a vertical 207. This is a vertical 210, a vertical 247, and a vertical 267. It's one of the largest ones around. Desteco has a uh, little U series piece of metal here that's called a, a bolt retainer. And on their bolt retainer, it's not threaded. Um, it's just a bent piece of metal. And what they normally give you on this series of clamp, which is a 215, they give you a... Uh, a threaded device that has rubber on the end of it, neoprene I guess is what it's called. They give you two uh, lock or jam nuts and basically how you apply that is, and I'm sure this is old news to you guys, put one jam nut on, put that device on, put this on, and then you end up sliding it on like so, pushing it on as far as you can, aligning it, getting it straight, or you can Put it on a little bit of an angle if you want to. But most of mine I always do straight. Um, now then you have the two jam nuts and basically you would weld it here and you'd weld it here. Now, once you do that, let me see if I can find one of my clamps here. Ah, right here. I'll put this one back here. This is uh, actually one that has been welded. It's been welded on this side and welded on this side. Sometimes um, if you're if you have a small welding machine, you can do this. You can put one small little tack right here. Um, but if you go through, you end up messing up the threads. And what that allows you to do is only have to have one nut that you have to mess with as opposed to two. Um, and I have done that many times. <laughs> Accidentally gone through and burned through and I kind of messed up the whole situation right there. But what is kind of a, a pain for me in my welding industry here um, is when we get weld spatter right up on the top of these right here uh, that it becomes an issue. Uh, once you get weld spatter on here you can't loosen this jam nut anymore and you can't get this off as this thing burns up or gets smaller 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 you need to adjust it down um, that it, you, you can't do it. Well some people say well just cut that off. Well if you cut that off the only amount of adjustment you have is from the top of this nut to the bottom of that nut. Once it's off that well then it just comes right on out. You're done. So the other thing is when you take and you raise this up this extra thread comes back and cracks you in the back of the knuckle. Um, that's another issue. Also if you don't put this on in far enough well then this kind of gets loose and it's, it's kind of uh, it, it doesn't stay tight and um, it, it's just kind of a, a nuisance more than anything. What we were able to do is kind of improve that and how we improve that is, is by this right here and I'll pick up one of the larger ones here so you can see. This is actually threaded all the way through and it's in the same shape as what theirs are. The gold colored ones are the metric ones and the metric is the M16, the M12, the M10, the M8 and the M6. Um, and basically the silver ones are the English. This is quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, half inch, and five eighths. So you can have them English or metric. It depends on if your shop is in, uh, into English, fine, stay with English. If your shop is into metric, you can use the metric ones. But basically what this does is by having this threaded all the way through, it allows you to do a couple things. Number one, well, when you go to put it on, that's the first thing. You can put this right on the table, you can put this right up to there, and it lines up perfectly. Um, you just shove it right all the way up to the front there, hold it down, tack it on this side, weld, weld, and you're done. Um, basically, that makes it very easy for you to apply and align. Okay? 
And when you do that, you end up with a situation like, and I think I'll grab this one right here, take this one out, kind of show you. Basically, it's kind of like this. You can have a weld on this side and a weld on this side. Um, and it basically, it just, you know, sticks on there like so. Now, if you really want it to be strong, you can weld it on the bottom here too, but it's, you know, you're going past the actual strength of the clamp here. Um, but you can thread this in, your threaded device, and you can get it to where you want. And then you only have to tighten up one jam nut. When you have the extra threads that stick out the top, what you can do with those extra threads so that they don't crack in the back of the knuckle, well, you can just cut them right off. When you cut them off flush, it'll look like this. And then when that opens up, that won't come back and crack in the back of the knuckle. Also, so if you want to use the metric, that's what a metric one would look like with its metric and also cut flush. The other thing I like to use in our shop is uh, an actual um, carriage bolt. Carriage bolt really works really well for us because it's a full thread, also has that little adjuster on the bottom. But you can get it to where you want, just tighten up one jam nut, you're done. That really makes it nice and easy and neat and clean. Now, these will actually go on, of course, like so. This is actually one that would be used, the 5 16 would be used for the, uh, for the 207. And also, once again, you can cut those off cut off the extra threads if you want to, you don't have to. Um, this is the 3 8 and as I said before, you can use an actual bolt. This is your half inch, you'd be able to apply like so and weld on. And then this is your big 5 8 and you'd be able to also apply on him and weld those on. Now that's pretty much kind of what it would look like. Now this is an actual 207, or I'm sorry, this is a 210, 210 series with a 3 8 and that's what he would look like, cut off nice and flush and welded on both sides. The other thing is these two. This is an exact showing of what you would have, the difference between um, ours and theirs. So you'd have this, you wouldn't have to have this, you wouldn't have to have the extra nut. You could use this and jam nut it. Also, the other thing that's really cool is if you want to take and put in a lock washer right in here, you can also put in a lock washer and then use this as a locking device and it really locks it down for like if you get around things that have uh, vibration in it. Um, that's a really neat feature also on these two. One last thing is as your clamps do wear out and trust me they will wear out um, over time. This one here has been cycled I mean <laughs> thousands and thousands of times. You can kind of see how loose it's actually gotten but hey it still works and it still works great. Hit you in the back of the hand though, kind of hurts. But as they do wear out, what you can do with these is don't throw them away with the clamp. Um, what you can actually do is you can actually, I've left these long enough for you so that you can cut them right here. You can cut off right here and just cut off right here and then you can take this off and you can apply this onto a new clamp um, so that you don't have to throw these away. Also, these really make really cool uh, fixture end stops. Um, when you want to put them up on their end and you want to use a threaded device through there and a jam nut here and be able to have an adjustable uh, end stop. That's, I'll show you when we go to weld fixtures, I'll show you what I use those for also. Um, you could use these also in, you know, sets of twos, sets of threes if you want. I, I've used them before in twos and duplicates. I, I have them all over the place. That's why I really, I really like these things. They really help me out in my shop tremendously. Um, but that's just a small, quick little video that I wanted to show people um, on how to apply them, how to use them, and uh, what they can actually do for you. Um, look for another video. I'll show you actually a weld fixture, and I'll show you the application of what, how I use them, and uh, they'll actually be applied into a, a part. But thank you for watching. Appreciate it. If you have any questions, just check out our video, and away you go. Thanks. Bye.